Okay, so what is the reason anyway that you would like to switch out the original spring in here for a nine bar spring? The reason is because espresso is supposed to be extracted at around eight to nine bars. But the machine is delivered with a stronger spring because it does come with a pressurized basket. And so the machine needs to be able to build up enough pressure in order to be able to push the water through the grounds and through this tiny hole. So let's switch it out for the nine bar spring because we're not gonna be using this pressurized filter. Make sure to stay to the end to see the results on the espresso extraction with the nine and 6.5 bar springs. Hello coffee friends. My name is Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner. And today we are going to take a look at the nine and the six bar mod from Shades of Coffee. What we're going to look at in addition to how to do the modification is what pressures that we actually get out of the springs. So we're first going to test the spring that is in the machine originally. Then we're going to test the nine and the six bar springs. You only need a couple of tools to do this. One is a 10 millimeter wrench. The other one is a Phillips screwdriver. So let's get started. All right, so let's see what the factory installed spring creates for a pressure. Looks like right about 12 and a half, 12 and a half. Now let's pull a shot. For these trials, we're going to use 16 grams in and aim for 40 grams out, trying for a 1 to 2.5 ratio. I'm going to also WDT each of them so that they hopefully are as similar to each other as possible. Then we're going to compare the flow rate and remark on the taste that each spring provides. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our modification. Make sure that your unit is turned off and unplugged. And before we go ahead, just a short disclaimer, uh, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not responsible for your safety or your machine. So if you do this yourself, make sure to do so with caution. There's only two screws holding the top on. Slide that top up and out of the way. And here you see is the overpressure valve. So what we're going to do is loosen this fitting and we are going to replace the original spring with the nine bar spring. To make this easier, you don't have to actually remove this hose. You can just pull it up out of the hole that it was going down and we can unscrew it this way. And the reason that I suggest doing that is because sometimes these hoses are really, really stuck on the brass fittings. So this just makes it a little easier. Okay, we're gonna take out the original spring and put in the nine bar spring. So in the kit, it says that the more stiff of the two shorter ones, which is this one, that's the nine bar spring. And the other one is the five bar spring. 
So let's put the nine bar spring in there. Yep. And just reverse the process. Let's route that the correct way and put it back how we found it. Down you go. All right, voila. The nine bar spring is already in. Get this in the lip. And we'll tighten it up and give it a shot. Okay, here is the pressure test with the nine bar spring installed. It's probably right about there. All right guys, and here's an extraction with the nine bar spring installed. Wow, delicious. All right, guys, here are the test with the 6.5 bar spring installed. Alright guys, here's the final test with the 5 bar spring installed. Alright guys, so here's the comparison. You've got the original 12.5 bar spring on the left and the 9 bar spring on the right. So you'll notice that these both have formed quite large cones. These are extremely fresh beans, but the flow rate is much higher on the 12 bar spring. So I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If so, feel free to give me a like, check out my other videos, and if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.